So maybe welcome back our very first cook on Neighborhood Chefs, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm great, thank you. Why don't you tell us a bit about your first experience here? Oh, it was wonderful. It was the first time I ever showed my techniques on film, and the meals went well. I'm sure you tasted the meal. It was delicious. Great. Yes, it was <laughs> great. So I'm here a second time to show another dish that I can make. And this dish that I'm going to make today is the collard greens made vegetarian style. Mm. which means without the meat. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. get started with that. Okay, first we'll start off with uh, chopped greens. I've already washed and prepared and cleaned, cleansed the greens. Mm -hmm. And it's about two pounds full. Okay. Then we have the chicken broth that mm -hmm. we'll be using as the elixir for the flavoring for the collard greens. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and then we will be using uh, the olive oil. That will be our base as you would prepare with like ham hocks instead of using meat that oil we would substitute it with the olive oil which is the virgin olive oil mm -hmm. then we will add um, the crushed chili pepper mm -hmm. and then we will use vinegar and we will use a, a medium onion preferably a half of a medium onion mm -hmm. and we will be using three cloves of garlic Okay, so the first thing, like I said before, we have already washed, cleansed, and prepared the collard greens. Mm -hmm. So next we need to get the base started. So I just need the pot that we'll be cooking the collard greens in. Okay, first we're going to use some olive oil. We'll be using about four tablespoons of olive oil for every two pounds of greens. Okay. okay. Next, we will chop up the garlic so we can get the savor flavor going, mm -hmm. plus the onion. So, yeah. Just move that out the way, and then I'll cut the onion. And like I said, we'll be using a half for every two pounds of collard greens. So we'll just cut this up. Well, actually, I have a food processor. So we'll prepare it like that. In are the cloves of garlic, and we'll just put this through the system here. Okay, we'll take this off. And we'll put this in the pot. Prepare it here. Thank you. And then we'll put it on a low heat. So we're going to simmer and saute the onions, the mushrooms, and the olive oil mm -hmm. on the stove on a medium heat. Okay, next we'll be um, preparing the rice. So we need the Uncle Ben's rice. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use the chicken stock instead of using water, mm -hmm. so that way it would add flavor to the rice. Ah, okay. Hmm, interesting. 
this is about now two cups of chicken stock mm -hmm. and we need a tablespoon of oil. This gives a very, very good flavor to the rice. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't require any salt. So try to go healthy here. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So we're going to um, then put, we're going to add, we need to leave one cup of water. Okay. Okay, and just add that right into this. Okay. And I need that jar. I'm going to okay. put the rice in. Two, three, so we have five cups of rice here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put this to a medium boil. Mm -hmm. We're going to set the stove here. It has to be on a very low light. And we're going to add a little bit more water to this just to keep the um, flavor. Place this on a medium light also. Okay, now I need a spoon to stir. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay, need a little bit of salt. Okay. And right now we're saving all the flavor. You smell the onion cooking mm -hmm. and the garlic. Mm -hmm. Once this marinates for about two minutes, mm -hmm. we will then add in the chicken broth, which will really get a good flavor to the collard greens once you put them inside. And you got to keep stirring this over and over because you don't want it to caramelize. Mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the meatless way to prepare your greens without adding all the other saturated fat in your diet. Because a lot of people when you go to restaurants, a lot of meat products are used in preparation for vegetables, but this is a new, a new form of preparing vegetables without the uh, meat. Mm -hmm. The still get that taste. And you still will get the same taste. And it's really the key is the broth. Mm -hmm. It gives you a nice good smell. Everything kind of reminds you of when the meat was in. Now just pass through the chicken broth. Okay. So we're going to pour about four cups. Of chicken broth in there. And I also will need one cup of water. Mm -hmm. Almost smells like soup. Mm -hmm. When you get the, the greens in, you'll see how different. Mm -hmm. And then we could turn the light up a little higher. Okay, now we will um, put in some of the crushed peppers. And that is to, to taste. So you have to, you, well, I would use about half a teaspoon first, just to make sure that it's not overpowering. Right. Because you have to worry about other people eating your food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then you just stir this again. See how it's ready to cook very quickly. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, our rice is cooking just fine. I said we have cut up two pounds of collard greens mm -hmm. and we will be putting that into the pot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we will be adding in the two pounds of collard greens. Mm -hmm. Now note that collard greens make their own water. Mm 
Yes. So you just have to mind how much water you put in there. Mm -hmm. That's why the chicken broth is good because it would absorb all the, um, right. the broth inside the greens. Mm -hmm. This is so delicious mm -hmm. and so nutritious. You get a lot of vitamins, vitamin B9, mm -hmm. folic acid. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a good colon cleanser. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> really good for your body. Mm -hmm. And plus, there's a lot of vitamin um, B, B9 and iron to keep you very healthy. And this can serve as a meal by itself. I was just going to say. Yeah, right. You don't necessarily need any added meats, you know, but you can. And you can it's so filling. Yes, it is. It really Very filling. Satisfied. Well, this is high fiber yes. as well. Mm -hmm. So now that all the greens are in, you hear it? This is nice seeping sound. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, it's absorbing the, um, the lipids. The lipids and now we're going to put the lid on and turn down the light so it can simmer. And that will be cooking for about about an hour mm -hmm. in time and then you just test the greens. Mm -hmm. Okay? So in the meantime, we're going to check on our rice. Mm -hmm. Make sure that everything else is going just fine. It has to come to a boil then we'll put the lid on that. Okay. But we will be serving the collard greens with some chicken. Yes, so that will be out so shortly. So Now that we've finished with the dish, the vegetarian collard greens, mm -hmm. we're going to have to take them out of the pot, and then we're going to serve them out. Okay? Okay. Now see, everything has simmered. The onions, everything mm -hmm. is all marinated with the be uh, chicken stock. Mm -hmm. It's all done. That was crazy. It was good to hear. Yes. You see how it shrinks down with two pounds? It shrunk down to this almost half a pound. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to um, put that into the dish. Mm -hmm. Serving dish. Okay, just sis, you get the spoon. Mm -hmm. And just. Mm -hmm. With the liquids? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks great, doesn't it? Mm, it smells wonderful. Okay, now you get your plate. We're gonna accompany it with some rice. Mm. And also to top it off, we have some chicken. Ooh. Because what would collard greens be without chicken? <laughs> you hear that? Okay, so now we're just gonna put a little rice here on the plate. Mm -hmm. Then for the famous greens, the vegetarian meatless greens. Here's a fork, and then you let me know how you like it. Thank you. I'm excited. It's very hot. I'm eager to yeah. taste this rice because it was in chicken broth. That's right. different. I try that. Very good. I'm glad I made a nutritional meal for you. It's, it's yeah. delicious because it was in the broth. It literally tastes like I taste meat, but there's no meat. Exactly. Exactly. 